Welcome to English Without Limits. In today's lesson, we're going to learn more about language that we need for cooking in the kitchen. In our last lesson, we learned about how to bake cookies. But in today's lesson, we're going to learn the language we need to do cooking of other things in other ways in the kitchen. I hope you enjoy the lesson. In our last lesson, we learned about baking cookies and we watched the children as they got ready to bake cookies. They didn't bake them in the lesson. They baked them after the lesson and then they ate them. They were very good. I wish you could have been here to enjoy them. Well, today we're going to go on and learn about other language that we need for cooking. But before we do that, let's join the class as they review the language that they learned for baking cookies. All right, welcome back. Good afternoon. Uh, the, our last lesson, what did we talk about? What did we do on the last time we were here? We made cookies. We made cookies, exactly. And what were some of the actions or things that you learned? Spoons. There was a spoon, tablespoon, and a, a tablespoon, and an oven bowl. Oven mitts. Bowl. A bowl. Mixer. Here's a mixer. bowl right here. Mixer. A mixer. And what was on the mixer? Uh, mix. <laughs> mixer. Beaters. <laughs> the beaters. Right. And what about what's a spatula? Um, uh-huh, yeah. And you learned a pot. This is a pan. 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 It's a pan. And you already said this is a bowl. Good. Before we go on to learn something new, let's review some of the language that we learned in the last lesson. We will show you a sentence on the screen with a blank in the sentence. There will be a group of words at the bottom of the screen and you must choose the correct word from the list at the bottom to complete the sentence with the blank. It will be about something we do or about something we use in the kitchen. I will wait a moment and then I will give you the correct answer after you have given your answer. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. You cook food on the stove in a blank. Please put in the correct word to complete the sentence. You cook food on the stove in a pot. You stir with a blank. Please put in the correct word. You stir with a spoon. You mix ingredients in a blank. You mix ingredients in a bowl. You bake food in the blank. You bake food in the oven. You take hot food out of the oven with blank. You take hot food out of the oven with oven mitts. You bake a cake in a blank. You bake a cake in a cake pan. You measure ingredients for a recipe with a blank. You measure ingredients for a recipe with a measuring cup. 
You remove cookies from the cookie sheet with a blank. You remove cookies from the cookie sheet with a spatula. You cook food in a blank. You cook food in an oven. You keep food cold in a blank. You keep food cold in a fridge. Food is important in every culture, and there are different ways of cooking in every culture. You can take one single type of food, like meat or potatoes, and you can cook it in different ways. If you've been to different cultures, perhaps you've seen that they will take a food that you are used to eating and cook it in a new way. And each way of cooking can taste a little different. Now, each way of cooking looks a little different. We will be showing you pictures in this lesson to represent the different ways of cooking. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference just by using a picture. So you must listen very carefully as the teacher describes what they are doing. She's also going to tell you about the different containers that we use for cooking. Some things we cook in a pot, some things we cook in a pan, sometimes we cook things in the oven. And it makes a difference whether the heat is above the food or below the food. All these things are different. So listen very carefully during this lesson. And towards the end of this lesson, you will get to plan the menu for a meal. That is, you will be able to say what you would eat and how you would like to cook each thing. Let's join the class as they begin to learn more about cooking. So today, we're going to learn a little bit more about kitchen activities, particularly these words right here. So these are all different things that you do, how you cook. So last time we learned about the different objects in the kitchen. Today, we're learning about the different actions in the kitchen, okay? So I'm going to go through and tell you about these words. Then I will give you a sheet that has the pictures, and you're going to try and figure out which word goes with which picture, okay? So barbecue. Can somebody tell me what barbecue is? Barbecue where you put meat and chicken. Uh-huh. And yes, you stick it on a like on a fire, right? Or maybe on the gas grill, right? And usually in the summertime, when it's nice out, people have a barbecue. Okay. What about sauté? Does anybody know what sauté is? Sauté. You put a little bit of oil, maybe in a pan or some butter, and you're just barely cooking it. You kind of swish it around. Usually people saute mushrooms. They just brown the mushrooms a little bit. Simmer. Simmer. Simmer, maybe I put a pot of water on the stove and it's boiling. Boiling. What's it mean to boil? Like bubbles. Yeah, it's really hot. All the water is bubbling up. And so simmer is after you boil. You turn down the heat, and now there's just little bubbles. Just little bubbles coming up. Okay? You're, you're just keeping it warm. Okay? Stir fry. Stir fry is usually something for uh, Chinese or, or um, food that you would, you're kind of frying it, but you're stirring it around at the same time, and you're not getting it really greasy. You know, like French fries are greasy. A lot of oil in them. But these, you're just kind of barely cooking them. You put vegetables in and you stir it around and move it around. Same time. Microwave. Can somebody tell me what a microwave well, is? Like you have a cold food mm -hmm. and you put it in the microwave. 
and you put it in the microwave. Exactly. So our microwave may look Yep, and it's got a little window, and maybe there's some buttons over here. And some of you have like a little, a little turn dial thing, like that. And here's the handle. Uh huh. Okay, and here's your food. Okay? It's a microwave. You reheat food. Maybe you had chicken last night and you want to have chicken again, so you stick it in the microwave to heat it up. Okay. And chop. What is chop? Can, can somebody show me the action for chop? What is chop? You, you had it? This was your. Yeah! <laughs> This is chop. You're going to chop up some carrots, chop up some onions. Let's see everybody chop. Everybody's chopping. Okay. Good, 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 good. Very nice. We talked about boil, steam. What is steam? Hmm. What if you take a really hot shower? It's really hot and all this air is kind of coming out of the shower. That's steam. Right? So if I'm going to steam my food, I've got my pan of boiling water, and then I put another dish on top, and so the steam is what's cooking the vegetables, not the water, the boiling water. It's the steam. Okay? So steam, let me draw you a picture then. So the steam is, whoops, that is steam, right there. Okay, yeah. steam. And uh, fry. What is something you fry? French fries. French fries, exactly. What else do we fry? There's a fry pan. Oh, very good. This could be a frying pan. Uh huh. Yes, you can fry chicken. We can fry lots of things. Fried potatoes, which are like french fries. Yes, so fried is there's lots of oil, and the oil is really hot, and that's what cooks the, the whatever your vegetables or your chicken, meat, whatever. Okay? Broil. See, they're a little different. Boil and broil. What, what, what do you think could be the difference? Because it's slow, then if it's slow, it's not slower. Very good. I will tell you, it's a very tricky word. It has nothing to do with boil. I don't know why. But broil is not at all like boil. Broil is when you, in the oven, okay, do we know what oven is? Oven. Here's your oven. And it's got these lines in it. And here's a big pan. Okay. Broil is when it's on the top of the oven. And it's really... And it's this top part that's heating it. So you broil chicken means you're just toasting kind of the top. Okay. Okay, and roast. A roast. What, how, what do we roast? <coughs> a roast. Mmm. A rare roast beast, as Dr. Seuss would say. A roast is, well, in America we have Thanksgiving, and so we always roast our turkeys. So that is if you have a big pan, and there's a mm, big chicken in it. Like that. There's vegetables. Mmm. I'm hungry. OK. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. So if this is in your oven. Okay, this is a roast. Put it in the oven for a long time. Roast it, okay? Okay, so what is simmer? Mm. Oh. It's very close. Cool. Uh, when there's bubbles coming in the oven, it's very fast. Very fast? How is it different hot. from boil? Which one is hotter? More boil. hot? Boil. And simmers, you turn down the heat, right? Okay. Right. What about steam? Steam. What is something you steam? The yes, yes, say it. Vegetables. No, that's that's chop. Vegetables. You steam some vegetables. You have the hot water, and you put the vegetables over it. Mm -hmm. What about barbecue? You put meat on it and it's gonna on the fire on the on the grill. Uh huh. What about fry? You fry some uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. What what what's in the? How do you fry something? Uh, French fries. French fries. And there's a lot of oil. Huh? What about? Everybody, show me this one. Chop chop. Very nice. Tanya, Marta, do you know what this one is? Yeah, okay, okay. And what's this? Uh -huh, you say it very well. Stir fry, stirring, frying at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to give you these pictures. And these pictures, you're going to guess which word, I want you to write the word underneath the picture that you think goes with the word. Okay? And I will tell you, chop is not on here. There's no picture of chop. Okay? I know. That's the easy one. Okay? So I will give this out to you. The teacher is giving the students a worksheet to do. That worksheet is on the disc that came with these videos, so if you have it, you may do it now. Now we're using a picture to represent each one of these different kinds of cooking. Sometimes it's a little difficult to tell the difference just by using this picture. For example, the difference between boil and simmer is hard to give in a picture. Boil is very hot and it's going very fast, like in this video clip. This water is boiling. But simmer is not so hot, and it's happening very slowly, just a few bubbles. In this video clip, this food is just simmering. The same thing with broil and roast. They both happen in the oven, but with broil, the heat is on the top of the oven and it's very hot. With roast, the heat is in the bottom of the oven and all around. So it goes much more slowly because it's not as hot. So we're going to look at the different ways of cooking and you see if you can give the correct name when you see the picture. If you have the worksheet, you may do that now. If not, Follow along and see if you can give the correct name for each picture. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay, so before we go over your paper, I just thought I would write next to each one of these what kind of, of kitchen thing you would use. Okay, so what did we say this was? Is it an oven, a pot, or a pan? Pan. Pan. Yes, this is a pan. And what would a pot look like? It would be a little taller. Right? It would, could be like this, but I wouldn't put this on the oven because it's got the rubber. Right? Mm -hmm. So, and these two are inside an oven. You fry things in a pan. And stir-fry and you saute in a pan. 
and then simmer, boil, and steam in a pot. Okay? So now let's look at your sheet. What's this first picture right here? Boil. Okay. From now on, let's raise your hand to answer. Okay. So we're going to go down the line. What's this one right here, Sahar? Saute. Saute. Everybody say that. Saute. Saute. One more time. Saute. And it's kind of a funny word, but you know why? Why in English this is a little different, but it's a French word that, a, that people who speak English have, have taken. So what's the next one down? Microwave. 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 Yes, microwave. Good, good, very good. Now, what's the top middle one? Oil. Elisa? Roast. 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 Roast, yes, we have a roast turkey or a roast chicken. Now, the next one down, what is that one, Vika? You just said it. Broil, yes. Broil. Mm hmm. What about, let's see, number 18. It's the next picture down. It's got the vegetables. Steam. Steam. Uh, Misha? Steam. Steam. Very good. Steamed vegetables. Good, good. And what's this bottom one down here? What's the bottom one? Hold on, hold on. Let's have, uh, Sasha, what's that bottom one? The very, very bottom. Simmer. Very good. Very good. Okay, this top one over here. Stir fry. Stir fry. Stir fry. And you know how you can tell? Because look, they're stirring it. Somebody has a, a spatula mm -hmm. and they're stirring. Okay? So, number 19. Fry. 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 Very good. And our last one, my favorite way to cook food. Barbecue. Barbecue, yes. Mmm, that's always fun. Now we're going to do a little, little test. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a pile of pictures and a pile of words. And I want you to match the picture with the word, okay? But I will let you do it in groups. And, um, Let's say, we'll let the girls and the boys, girls all be together and the boys can all be together, okay? So you guys can, um, you guys can gather around this side of the table and you girls can gather on this side of the table, okay? So, I will tell you, so do we understand? So I want you to lay out the pictures and put the word next to the picture that it matches, okay? Go, go, you go, yeah, go, go, you're going to have to get up, or you can, uh... oh, that was a tie, I think. Oh, okay, so let's.